Hi everyone, my name is Patrick. So you have reached Corona Filipinas. On this channel, you will be able to watch anything about pageantry. So for today's episode, uh, we'll be talking about the new crown, Miss Brazil 2020. The video that I watched is from Pipe Vlog. My reaction will be based from her speaking ability and I will also review her beauty and yung walk and basta may mga pasarela something din siyang ginawa. We will be talking about another Julia. If you are a fan of Julia Horta, she was the Miss Universe Brazil 2020 and unfortunately she was just part of the top 20. I remember last year na sobrang hype na hype si Julia Horta pero nagulat ang lahat na hindi siya nakapasok sa top 10. Same with ours, si Gazini hindi rin siya nakapasok sa top 10. Julia Gama is 27 years old and her height is 1.77 meters. Just to give you a background of this reigning beauty queen, she was Miss World Brazil 2014. Time rin parang sa UK yung Miss World. She placed top 11. And I was able to watch one video from Miss World. She introduced herself on that video. The advocacy niya is about leprosy sa country niya. So let's talk about yung walk first. I don't wanna talk about so much about walk kasi parang kung ibibase natin yung 2019 Miss Universe, parang hindi naman masyadong malaki yung points ng walk. Unlike nung time ni Catriona na talaga na talagang sobra kasi talaga niyang ginalingan. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 7. Ang hirap kasing i-judge din kasi parang she's wearing an evening gown. Kasi naman, di ba, maraming ang events kasi sa walking, yung swimsuit, and then yung evening gown. So, sa evening gown, part lang siya. I would say she's very sweet looking. I'm not seeing any fierceness so far dun sa evening gown niya nung naglakad siya. Pero, of course... But masyado pang maaga, I'm sure that will evolve. You know naman yung mga Latin ko terms of pasarela, they're really great with that. Anyway, so let's talk about the speaking ability. So everyone was amazed because she can speak four languages. So syempre yung, yung language ng Brazil which is Portuguese and then she can speak Spanish, English, and Mandarin. On every language, parang meron siyang iba-ibang topic na pinag-usapan and I tried my best to translate some of it and using some context clues. So for the first speech, it is in Portuguese. So she talks about, first she thanked the people of Brazil and her family, lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa kanya. So she is just appreciating everyone who supported her. I like the word that she used, yung dialogue and inclusion. Build more bridges. She wants to be the voice, talks about some of her advocacies, which is social protection and health. So, I really like na she touches something about the pandemic. You know, it's really hard. Pero I really like the way na nagsalita siya kahit sang sentence lang siya about pandemic. Medyo questionable kasi yung sinasabi na parang hindi kasi magandang magkaroon ng pageant during the pandemic. Pero I, I don't think so. Uh, I know naman na sobrang flexible ang pageantry. Pageantry now is not just about beauty alone. So, mas, mas malakas na yung advocacies na meron yung mga beauty queens na meron tayo. So, yun nga, she wants to show Brazil to the world. So, ayan na. So, the next speech is about yung, yung Spanish naman. Ang hindi ko makakalimutan na sinabi niya doon sa Spanish yung todos Latinos something. So, I really like that she also included any other countries around the Latin community. She is representing the whole Latin community. So she wants to showcase the talent and the beauty of the Latin community. One of her platform din daw is about para marinig daw yung voice ng the whole Latin community. Kung babalikan natin do sa first speech niya na, which is in Portuguese, she said the word inclusion. The, the meaning of her, what do you call this, her speech is all about inclusivity again. And once again, ins inclusivity is very big, especially in Miss Universe. Miss Universe wants to include all the races, all body shapes, 
and also as you know si Angela Ponce the the first transgender female who joined Miss Universe uh, the third speech is in English I like what she said na if ever she will be the new Miss Universe she will not just focus on her own career development and she said that I want it to be a year of service she wants to be the spokesperson I like the words na ginamit niya like respect tolerance understanding empathy so once again just like this the first episode natin about Emmy Sawyer yung word na tolerance that's really important kasi nga as a beauty queen of course you should be the voice you you, you are the spokesperson and also you should unite just like what i said this sa unang episode ko I'll link down below yung first episode. So, she also said yung dream shine their light to the world. So, and then the last, yung last na speech niya is in Chinese. She's just appreciating or uh, thanking the Chinese people. So, my final verdict is if she is ready for the Miss Universe, uh, for Miss Universe, of course, and no national director will send any girl na hindi ready para sa Miss Universe. So, so far, you know naman kung gaano kalakas ang mga, ang mga Latina in terms of beauty pageant. And just like what I said, she already competed in Miss World 2014. So, syempre, just like Catriona, alam na alam niya na yung kalakaran sa pageantry. Tapos, marunong pa siya magsalita ng four languages. Just in case, parang kung magpunta siya sa China, syempre, you know naman how big the population of China is to their, their billion population sila. So, in terms of marketing, maganda siyang business para sa MUO. And also, for the Latin community, so if she knows how to speak Spanish, pero ang alam ko kasi most of Brazilian knows how to speak Spanish. And you know naman, syempre, English, it's really the international language. Okay, so in terms of public speaking, she knows how. Yun nga lang, medyo, I really don't know kung lahat ng sinabi niya, kung merong teleprompter, just in case. Kasi, ano siya eh, I don't know if it's a live coronation or whatever, or it's a taped one. I don't know. I, I hindi ko talaga alam, guys. Pero kasi, o sige, pag-usapan na lang natin yung gagawin natin siya sa Miss Universe. It's like dun sa initial statement something. Kasi, amini naman natin, lahat naman ng mga candidates in Miss Universe, lahat yun, nakaredy na yung mga speech nila. Yun nga lang kasi, parang nagkakaroon lang ng ano dun, the way kung paano sasabihin ng candidate yung speech. And it should be coming from the heart. So far, I feel the heart. I feel ko na she knows how to speak in public. So, yun lang, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want me to review any other beauty queen, please comment down below. Let me know kung sino gusto nyong review ko next time. And I'm also thinking of, uh, syempre, since Corona Pilipinas, yung name ng channel ko. Maganda rin naman mag-review ako about Miss Universe Philippines and Binibining Pilipinas 2020. Really excited to make a reaction video or a review about our own candidates then, syempre. Alright guys, um, this one is very simple na episode lang. And... For those people who watched my first episode, thank you so much. I just hope this one, you will also support yung video na to. Please like my video, comment down below, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.